Hey everyone. So today we are looking at the new lift height capability that you're going to get with the Hydros Plus Lift Plus cylinders for the Kubota BX. And I have to admit, I was a little surprised at just what, how different this was and what this looks like in real world. Now, it's not completely scientific, but I've got a few numbers I'll share with you and um, just try to illustrate what, uh, what you're getting uh, by getting Hydros Plus. And there's a couple other pieces I'll, I'll throw in here because the lift height on the one series actually is increased with Hydros Plus. It's just that I don't really call that out. It's only a few inches and I feel like that's kind of in the margin of error. And I, I really didn't want to suggest to anybody that maybe they should buy these because you're going to get an extra inch or two of lift height. Um, but now that the Kubota gives us the opportunity to get nearly a foot more in lift height when it comes to uh, comparing it to itself, then that that is a material difference and I think worth looking at. And then really in the 2038, I figured it was actually quite a bit more uh, from a lift height. I was actually putting it here to see how much further it reached into the trailer because this is a use case that I have uh, loading into a dump trailer. But uh, it's actually not as much as I thought it was going to be. So that is what it is. But as you can see here, uh, let me share some numbers here. I, I went ahead and made my own measurements because you can look at what's, well, first of all, these all have Hydros Plus Lift Plus on them, so they're not exactly stock. But, um, so I'm, I'm going to do that comparison, but if you go out and measure yours, uh, you may get some different numbers. Now from a, uh, the one series, 67 and a half to a level bucket and 73 and a quarter to the pin. Uh, I went back and saw Tractor Time with Tim's video where he did some lift capacity testing as well as uh, got some lift height measurements and he got I think about 70 inches uh, based on you know his tractor you know there are some variables in there I think John Deere puts it at 72 inches maybe but I've never measured it at 72 uh, I previously measured another tractor I have uh, because when I was selling it somebody was asking me and we we got 69 or 69 and a half to the pin um, because he was trying to load into a dumpster so 69 and a half, 70, somewhere in that range is I think a real world pin measurement. With Hydros Plus, you're gonna get 73 and a quarter. And again, your mileage could vary some, but you should get a little bit more uh, lift capacity with Hydros Plus, just not significantly different. Now, on my last video, I got I think 66 and a quarter or 66 and a half on the BX to a level bucket. With the new uh, cylinders, we've got 74 and a half uh to a level bucket and 80 and a quarter to uh the pin and then last is the 2038 that's 79 and a half and 85 and a half to the pin so 79 and a half to a level bucket 89 and a half to the pin so the 2038 still lifts higher than the Kubota but uh the Kubota is outpacing the one series if you choose to get Hydros Plus Lift Plus now uh what I'll tell you, let me just show you from uh, from the John Deere point of view, if you're looking at your tractor thinking, well, mine doesn't look exactly like that. You can see that we could capture a little bit more here. Let me get that lens flare out. We could capture just a little bit more, except this really interferes. So we chose not to take it from there. Now also here, try to do this without getting the... Here, we have to have this clearance now that the this i'm trying to do this without getting into the sun this gap here actually with the stock cylinder could actually go into here these are wider than that gap so they have to stay out and in order to stay out we had to bring it out further and to keep the retracted length the same we had to capture a little bit more here so i don't remember how much more lift height we might be getting on this tractor than uh than a stock one but you can see well, what i said 85 and a half i think john deere listed at 85 as the distance to the pin and that was a little bit um 
generous based on my actual real world measurement, but you know, that is what it is. And also that tractor actually has two factory sets of tires on it. So if you've got the bigger tires, I have the R4s, you're gonna get some different, uh, different measurements, both on the pin height and just how far you can go down. I know when you have the nicer radial tires, and if you don't have the bucket on, you can't touch the loader arms to the ground. They're off the ground about a couple of inches. So um, that's really all I wanted to show. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to be able to bring nearly a foot of uh, increased lift height to the Kubota on top of 35% more lift capacity at you know whatever pressure you decide to run at. I will probably, here in the very near future, throw some shims or old washers. I'm fine laying around here, something to stiffen up that spring and see what kind of lift capacities we can actually get. But I need to get something of significant ballast. I've got a five foot mower. Maybe I'll put on it. That's all I have. I don't have a weight, um, weight bar just yet. Uh, be, mainly because I usually use the backhoe as, as my ballast. Don't have a backhoe for the Kubota. So that's it for today. Questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.